And now I feel like if I hit any more harder, then I'll be like killing people in Dallas. So that's what I feel. <laughs> Hey ET family, Ian here. I'm the head pro of EssentialTennis.com, where it's our mission to provide passionate instruction for passionate players, just like you. Our team recently worked with a student from Dallas, Texas named Sibby. He flew to work with us here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin for two full days on the court, and now we're sharing his improvements with you. In the previous video, we worked on his forehand backswing, which was necessary in order to build the foundation to where we are now. But the coaching on the kinetic chain in this video is the cherry on top, and the reason why Sibby is able to start hitting huge 5.0 level forehands. As you follow along in this video, make sure you stick around to the end so that you can get our forehand action plan download and work on the same progressions in your next practice session. For now, let's jump right into my assessment of Sibby's forehand, where I'll explain why the kinetic chain is so critical to high-level tennis. Good. I like it. Nice job, nice job. All right, grab a drink. Nice job, man, that's good. Good start, good start. Okay, we're gonna work on one more uh, kind of really fundamental technical uh, key. Yeah. Um, before I show you you, I wanna show you a couple swings that Brian uh, made. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna, what we're gonna be looking at is, at contact, where is his chest facing? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna look at a couple of swings. So here's contact. Mm -hmm. Where is his chest facing? Towards the opponent this time? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so uh, he's a little bit past parallel mm -hmm. uh, with the baseline. Mm -hmm. He's turned a little bit more than, than parallel. Mm -hmm. right, right about even with the baseline. I'm gonna look at uh, four but swings here. The fourth swing is this way, okay. Mm -hmm. Here's same contact. Same. Okay. So just about even with the, with the baseline. Mm -hmm. And now I have, I think, two more swings of his. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's contact. Mm -hmm. You can see right down the baseline, mm -hmm. and his back is parallel with the baseline. Mm -hmm. And then I have one more. Mm. Here's contact. Mm -hmm. Just about even. Mm -hmm. Now, these are on really um, slow, th mm -hmm. these were on just kind of the, the first rallies that yeah. you guys were doing with the circle. So these are really calm, relaxed. If he was trying to hit a winner and he was swinging more aggressively, you would see that, that chest detach mm -hmm. or lead even, even more so. Mm -hmm. I'd be facing forwards a little bit earlier mm -hmm. than, than what it is here. These are real oh, okay. slow, mm -hmm. slow, calm shots. Mm -hmm. But you're talking about kind of stretching and loading, mm -hmm. elastic energy. Um, the upper body rotating and leading mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. is a big, big part of that. This is called lag or the arm and the hand, the forearm yeah. is behind and then it catches up. That's the elastic energy and release of energy uh, that you were talking about with kangaroos. Yeah. That's a good, uh, that's a good uh, <laughs> metaphor. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at some of yours. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna look at some of your original ones first. These are still bad ones, okay? So this is, so it's not that far off. Mm -hmm. You're not quite parallel to the baseline with your shoulders, mm -hmm. but uh, you're a little bit short, a little bit short of it, yeah. a little bit behind or a little bit late. Mm -hmm. Are these the good one? No, this is also that one. Okay, yeah, this Ooh, is even turned this way. Wow, actually. look at that. <laughs> it's pointing this way. <laughs> yeah, so here you, so you have- more work actually. My arm probably doing more. You're exactly correct. Yeah. So if your body hasn't turned forwards yet, all you're able to use is, yeah. is just your arm. And this is a big um, mm -hmm. reason why mm -hmm. high-level players are able to hit powerful shots without looking like they're trying very hard. They use their entire body mm -hmm. very, very efficiently and in the right order yeah. so that they're able to create a lot of racket head speed without trying very hard. Mm -hmm. When your body doesn't turn forwards, mm -hmm. you have to try really yeah. hard to create much racket head speed. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. You can feel it. Yeah, this is like... <laughs> We're worst case Getting scenario. Tired looking at it. <laughs> uh, so let's just pick a couple more random ones. Mm -hmm. I want to. I want you to get a full picture of where you're at before. Mm -hmm. 
So not as bad as the one before, but still pretty, pretty yeah. short. You're not using your body much here to actually hit the ball. Mm -hmm. It's eventually turning forwards, yeah. but the ball's already gone. Oh. <laughs> Ideally, we want the body facing forwards as you make mm -hmm. contact, if not a little bit before you make contact, mm -hmm. because it means that then the body is leading, is leading the swing instead of your arm uh, doing all the work. Does that make sense? So from here mm -hmm. to contact, mm -hmm. just watch your chest mm -hmm. as I go from here mm -hmm. to here. Your mm -hmm. chest isn't moving. As it moved, yeah. So turn. Uh huh. So here your chest is facing this way, okay. Towards the camera. Mm -hmm. So I guess then I didn't move the chest before you oh, made contact. Okay. Your chest moves mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. but the ball's gone now. Oh. That makes sense? Oh, okay. Yeah. So the way I like to think of this is your chest should be leading the swing. Your chest should be the first thing to begin rotating towards the incoming ball. If your arm, your hand are yeah, yeah. the first thing to come forwards, mm -hmm. then you're relying on, on this instead, mm -hmm. of, instead of this. The ones that we mm -hmm. really want to avoid are these are the this, fast this ones. Is, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, a power that's really, trainer. really behind. Yeah. yeah. This is the position that- It's a battery killer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. The circular take back combined with your, your chest leading the swing, mm -hmm. just those two things, mm -hmm. uh, if we start drilling them and making them new habits, yeah. are going to completely change your forehand. Mm -hmm. I mean, completely different level from, from where you are now mm -hmm. if we start doing them consistently. Now we're gonna dive right into the progressions as we guide Sibi through step-by-step -step improvements. You can use this exact same process on the courts, so don't forget that at the end of this video, you can get an action plan PDF to use to improve your own forehand the very next time you go out onto the courts. Uh, so let's start off here in no man's land, please. And we're gonna do some shadow swings. And what I'd like to see from you is, um, A, we wanna make sure that we're using this the circular uh, take back. And then B, we're gonna segment it for now uh, in a couple of different pieces. We're gonna do uh, your initial setup, and then I'd like you to drop the racket, and I wanna see you pull, pull your arm and your racket forwards with your chest before you go out to contact and, and follow through. Okay, now I wanna show you a really critical uh, part of this. I'm gonna go back to one of Brian's uh, mm -hmm. slow, easy shots. And as his chest starts to pull the racket mm -hmm. <coughs> forwards, mm -hmm. I want you to look at where the racket is facing. Still facing down that way? Yes, where's the tip mm -hmm. of the racket pointing? Still, is it down or? Oh, uh, still I mean, up, yeah, still up, yeah. So right, right. Here, mm -hmm. the tip of the racket is pointing back towards the back curtain, mm -hmm. and the bottom of his racket, his butt cap, mm -hmm. is pointing towards the ball. Mm -hmm. mm. And he holds that mm -hmm. until just before contact. Mm -hmm. And this is that stretching, that, right. that oh, okay. elasticity, uh, pulling forwards and then releasing. Now, I want to show you what you're doing. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the mm -hmm. last repetition you mm -hmm. just did. Mm -hmm. Take back. Now as your shoulder, your chest starts to rotate forwards. Mm -hmm. Mine is same look like. <laughs> it doesn't turn. Huh? Yeah, look at the racket face mm -hmm. and watch your chest. Mm -hmm. They're turning at the same rate. Mm -hmm. You see how the, your strings are turning with your chest? Yeah. They're like exactly on the same uh, plane. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And now if we go back to Brian, here's the swing we just looked at. Mm -hmm. Watch his chest mm -hmm. turn forwards and look at the strings. So his chest is facing forwards, his mm -hmm. strings are facing down at the mm -hmm. court. Mm -hmm. They're not facing the same way at all. Yeah, yeah. This is the lag yeah. that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. So this is what uh, Brian is doing mm -hmm. as his chest faces forwards and this is what you're doing. Mm -hmm. your, your entire body is rotating in conjunction with the racket face. 
from your uh, dropped position, mm -hmm. your chest and your racket are turning at the same time. Yeah, but then what is the difference we want to do? Uh, go ahead, do your, your circle uh, take back again. What we want to do is turn forwards while this stays. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. So you should feel uh, a stretch in your, oh, okay. your forearm and a stretch in your wrist as you start to pull, pull forwards. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, before it was like... The way I want you to th uh, think about this is your chest is starting mm -hmm. and your arm and your hand is just relaxed and they're, st they're being left behind. Mm -hmm. So this is your, your take back. Mm -hmm. If I'm totally relaxed and I powerfully turn my chest forwards, my hand and my arm just get left behind for a split second mm -hmm. and then they catch up. If everything is, is rigid, then this all turns what as... If everything is together, what's the problem? There's no dynamic energy. Oh, okay. If everything is tense and tight and all moving at the same time, it takes much more effort to accelerate the racket than if you're loose and okay. able to... Like yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Again, slow it down. So look at the, the last two that you just did. Mm -hmm. Do you see yeah, the difference? You can feel the, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now your, your hand and your yes. forearm is, is behind your chest, mm -hmm. which means that as you make contact, this is the, the mm -hmm. position that we want to be in at mm -hmm. contact. So your chest is facing forwards. Your my left arm looks a little bit off. Yeah, don't worry okay. about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just focus on <laughs> this for now. Okay, yeah. One thing at a time. Whereas before, mm -hmm. it's all together. It's all together <laughs> at the same time. No lag, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's so there's much less potential for mm -hmm. racket head speed here. Everything is moving as one mm -hmm. big mm -hmm. one big piece. Mm -hmm. Think about um, frequently mm -hmm. uh, illustration is used of a bull, of a bull whip. Mm -hmm. Or imagine uh, snapping somebody with a towel. Mm -hmm. You ever do that? Yeah. Now imagine Kids, the yeah. <laughs> now, now imagine the towel is rigid. Yeah. Can you snap it? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. no. You no. can't snap it because it's one big it's one big piece. The only way that snap is possible is if it's um, flowing and mm -hmm. able to uh, curl and unwind quickly. There's a there's like a curl that happens and then a snap back the other way. Um, mm -hmm. Think about how you do that. You go out towards the person you want to snap, and then you quickly pull yeah. back. Mm -hmm. And so there's like a, a, a smooth mm -hmm. curl that quickly snaps into the other mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. If the towel was rigid, like if, uh, if it had starch in it, yeah, yeah. You, couldn't, you couldn't snap it because it's too stiff. This is the starchy towel. Mm -hmm. What is the towel <laughs> in this case? The racket? Your entire arm. Full arm. Okay. Your whole arm, mm -hmm. yeah. Brian's about to feed you a couple easy balls. Mm -hmm. uh, before each hit, I want you to uh, physically just <laughs> loosen your arm as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And then when he feeds to you, I want you to maintain like the most loose, relaxed arm possible. Make sure that you use the, the same shape of take back we've been working on. And then your focus is going to be on keeping your arm totally like jelly, like loose. Mm -hmm and leading with your chest as early as possible. Like, I'd love for you to ex exaggerate it okay. uh, to where you're, you're really kind of overstretching your arm and your shoulder. Mm -hmm. While... Like, make or miss the shot. Yeah, right, right, yeah. It, I don't care if it, like, it whatever. Yeah, it hits the back wall or what. It doesn't matter where it goes. Mm -hmm. We just want to see you um, try to execute those two things. Mm -hmm. As loose as possible and as early as, yeah, as yeah. early as possible with your chest. I like what I'm seeing already. Uh, so, um, Brian, let him, let him do uh, three uh, practice swings and then just real easy feed. So three, um, just real smooth, relaxed to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, I, like, I like where this is going. Or as early as possible with the chest. Okay, and then uh, three uh, practice ones. Yep. As loose as possible with your arm. and as early as possible with your chest. So this is a ton of lag uh, uh -huh. here. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Your chest is already facing, look at it, your, the tip of your racket is like pointing back, it's here left. And this is great, like this is actually what we were hoping for. Mm -hmm. Like you're totally overdoing Relaxing. it, exaggerating mm -hmm. it. Um, and the reason why we're asking you to do this is mm -hmm. because your habit is kind of the opposite. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now from here, I want you to really relax your, your arm, your shoulder. From here, as your racket starts to, to drop and your mm -hmm. chest starts to turn forwards, mm -hmm. I want you to look at the, the angle of your, your racket face in your hand right now, yeah. that's pointing down. Mm -hmm. From here, what I'd love to see you do is as you turn forwards, mm -hmm. bring your racket face up mm -hmm. to contact mm -hmm. here, from here, see, see how the strings mm -hmm. are facing down, mm -hmm. palm is facing down, yeah. to contact, mm -hmm. and then up and around. Okay. I think um, I do more like... Yes, 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 like yes. That's so exactly what you do, yes. Let it continue like this. Yes, yes. Instead of doing this. Exactly, um, yeah. Good awareness, good awareness there, yeah. All right, two, three uh, slow shadow swings, and Brian's going to feed you that same easy ball. Uh-huh. Not worried about making it at all. Just lead with your chest, leave your, your arm loose. Good, Sibby. Again. Good. Relax your arm in your hand. Your forearm in your hand, especially. That is better. Better path. Now I need you to loosen your arm up more. Just let the racket swing. Yes, 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 yes. Check out this last one that you just mm -hmm. did. I'm just going to play it. That's, mm -hmm. that's really, really nice looking. Yeah, I feel even more relaxed, yeah. Yeah. So here, look at the, the racket face here racket and your down chest. Is yeah. it down, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that's the, the hitting surface mm -hmm. right right there. Yeah. Is the, the part of the racket that you're actually going to hit the ball with. Mm -hmm. look, look at your chest, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, look at that. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Look at it. That's amazing. Very relaxed, so it's just coming naturally. OK, that's good. This is what we want. Mm -hmm. And so you're using, I mean, just from my perspective, like the parts of the body that are powering your swing now are much, much bigger. Uh, whereas before you were doing a lot with, with this and with, uh, with this. Um, and now we're relying much more on the big parts of your body. And so that means these parts can now be loose and, and relaxed. And it's counterintuitive for a lot of players, but that's where big power and racket head speed can start to come from. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Let's do some more of these. Looks really good. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Yeah, I could feel that lag thing now. I can feel it now. Good. Where do you feel it? Yeah, I can feel here. And then just everything is going on. I'm not forcing anything now. It's just going. You know? <laughs> good. Nice job, man. Now, just... Uh, just for fun, because mm -hmm. I like to remind <laughs> students old, of... The evil. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, this, uh, so the rhythm here yeah. is like all over the place. There's no flow to it. Yeah. What is this one again? The old one, right? Yeah, this is like one of your first shots yeah. today. Okay. And uh, there's a lot, there's just a lot of arm uh, going through. You're not using your body very, yeah. very efficiently. And the rhythm is, mm -hmm. is, all, the rhythm, is yeah. all over the place. Brian, uh, some easy uh, cross-court rallies, please. Yeah, keep the same, same two mm -hmm. focus uh, points, and that is uh, as loose as possible with your arm and leading as early as possible with your chest. No nothing else for right now. Just stay relaxed. Good. Nice, Sibby. Nice and early on that with your chest. Yeah. All right, all right. Check these out. I want you to see a couple of these because they're... I, Really like how they're looking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dude, that's that's really nice. That that release there on that mm -hmm. on a shoulder high ball. Yeah, I felt like always pressure on the shoulder high. Like I would do like all of this. Oh, you were you were arming the ball. I'm just yeah. Now now you look at the the lag right here. Yeah. You actually have your body doing the work for you now. Mm -hmm. um, you have a lot of tension built up, built up here that you can release through the point of contact. Whereas before, yeah. you weren't turning forward with your body, which yeah, meant you, just, you had to, yeah. that's why you felt pressure. Lead with the chest. Awesome. And then let your forearm and your hand relax as much as possible. Uh, 
Out of 100%, what uh, effort level would you say those last uh, like two, three minutes were? I think those were still 70 to 80 maybe. No way. Not that high, but I guess. Ira, out of 100, what, what percentage of effort that does it look like he's putting into those last, last couple rounds? 60 sounds high to me. I would, I would have said 50, like, at the most. Maybe, yeah. Maybe he said 80. <laughs> on the Maybe I felt like... I think, I think, is he referring to the result or the effort? Good question. Maybe a result, that's what I felt, yeah. Yeah, because the old one, I would put the same energy that much. <laughs> yeah. But now I feel like if I hit any more harder, then I will be, like, killing people in Dallas. So that's what I feel. <laughs> Ira brings up a good yeah. point. The resulting shot... Yeah. I You're thought, probably right. It's probably like a 65, yeah. 75, he said 80 like percent resulting shot. But the smoothness and fluidity, yeah. fluidity, the effort level looks yeah. really, really low. low yeah. This is how you know you're on the right track. It's yeah. like better results mm -hmm. with less effort. That's it's like right, yeah. both like in the right direction. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'd love to see you bring up the effort <laughs> level by like 10%. Okay. Like not, we're not going to double it and like go all crazy, yeah. but like 10% more effort with the same looseness, the same relaxation. Nice relaxation there, Sibby. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you liking this, Sibby? Yeah. <laughs> I got more top spin, I'm ready. Yeah, I feel like no matter what, I'm not gonna miss. I feel like it's gonna go in. That's a good feeling. It looks nice, huh? I don't have to like tense to put it in. I feel like just let it go. Like, yeah, just let it go. It's good lag here. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Good position with the chest. Mm -hmm. Hand is lagging behind. Yeah. Good contact point. Same thing here. A little more open on this one. More open, yeah. Yep. I think that's one thing I need definitely. The more, basically, think about it this way. You were talking about feeling like you couldn't miss, uh -huh, uh, yeah. like no matter what, it was going to fall in play. Yeah. Uh -huh. if, you start, if you start losing that feeling, mm -hmm. it's very likely that on your take back, your racket is, is more open. Okay. Because as soon as it starts to open up, then it's, from this position, if you just let the racket swing, yeah. then that's when the ball starts. That's when I need to do that. I think. It, yes, yeah. exactly. So if it starts closed to begin with, mm -hmm. you can feel really free to just, mm -hmm. to just, let, it, just let it swing. Does that make sense? Yeah. The more closed it is here, mm -hmm. the more freedom you have to just swing the racket up towards the ball and not feel like you have to manipulate the racket to get it to come back into play. Does that make sense? Yeah. And the, what we're after here is the loosest, freest, you know, swing possible. Yeah. And so you, we need to be aware of where the strings are facing to allow that to happen. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, let's hit a few more. It looks really good. Awesome. Jeez. Nice, Sibby. <laughs> Even though our coaches won't be standing there right next to you like we were with Sibby, we can give you the next best thing. It's our goal to support your tennis in any way possible. So we want you to have access to quality coaching and improvement at home. And that improvement starts with a plan. Get instant access to our forehand action plan PDF by clicking the link in the description down below or by going to www.forehandactionplan.com. Com. All you have to do is let us know where to send it and you'll know exactly what to do the very next time you practice so that you can get results like Sibby. Lastly, do me a favor and after you get your action plan, come back to this video and leave a comment letting me know how your results are coming along. If this video and the action plan were helpful to you, then please give this video a like and as always be sure to subscribe to our Essential Tennis YouTube channel. We've got tons and tons of new coaching coming out soon, and I don't want you to miss out on any of our upcoming lessons. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.